If you've ever wondered why our parts uh, are so expensive, why we uh, charge so much for our parts, why mold work is so expensive, take a look at this. This is a prime example. This is a mold for the inner panel on a uh, 81 to 87 Buick Regal Grand National. Uh, there, obviously there's two doors. Um, these doors require a substantial amount of labor hours just to get the, the doors decent enough to make molds from. And then once you make the doors decent enough to make molds from, then it's a substantial amount of hours to wet sand and buff these doors. I think this pair of door inners, just the inners, mind you, not the outers, I believe we've got somewhere around the neighborhood of about 70 hours, 75 hours into just these two molds after they were made molds, after the fiberglass was all laid up, after everything was done, about 75 hours just in wet sanding and buffing and waxing these to get these ready so we can make a single set of doors out of this mold. Now, obviously, once they're done, wet sanded, buffed, and waxed, uh, we can make more doors out of these molds, so it's not wasted time, but uh, it's quite an investment uh, to do a set of door molds. And these are some of the largest, most complex door molds we do, even bigger uh, in square footage and more complex than Firebird or Camaro doors, second gen, third gen Camaro doors, which are large doors. These are larger. G-body doors are bigger and they are more of a hassle. So just thought I'd uh, show you a little bit of fiberglass porn here. And yeah, and we, when people say you can't make uh, fiberglass pieces as nice as carbon fiber pieces because the molds aren't as nice, I could make fiberglass parts out of these molds also. There's absolutely no reason why fiberglass doors can't be just as nice as carbon fiber doors, aside from the fact that most people that are doing fiberglass are doing molds that are a little, uh, let's just say to put it nicely, they, they cut a few corners. With carbon fiber, you really can't cut corners. You have to do the molds nicer or you end up with a junk product. Uh, there are plenty of carbon fiber shops out there even that don't do their molds nearly as nice as we do. So, uh, and there's a few that do them just as nice as we do and they understand how much work it is. Um, but by and large, for the most part, this is just a tremendous amount of work. Just thought I'd share that with you all here today. It's a tremendous amount of work to do all of this, to make a set, a beautiful set of carbon fiber doors that'll cost you north of $4,000. Yep, $4,000, it's a lot of money. The material's expensive, but man, it's really more about the labor. It's more about the labor. The labor is what costs so much. Yes, carbon fiber is expensive. Yes, good materials are expensive. Um, yes, good resins are expensive. Good gel coats are expensive. It all adds up, but really it's the labor. Man, uh, I, I would say this set of door molds all together, the inners, the outers, all the fiberglass work, creating the flanges, um, doing all the body work on the doors it took to get them ready for making the molds. We've probably got 150, 150, 160 hours. Yeah, no, actually probably more than that because these took so long. Probably more like 180 hours into a set of door molds. Now keep in mind a 40 hour week is your typical work week. So that's basically like a solid month worth of work or just over a solid month worth of work for one guy. If he was doing this nonstop, full time, just one set of doors. Now, of course, we got plenty of other projects going on. We got all kinds of other stuff going on in the shop. So uh, that isn't the only things we have going on. Um, but this is, uh, yeah. It's a lot of work. So multiply that uh, 180 hours by $100 an hour, which is our going rate. And uh, that's uh, $18,000 for a set of door molds. Yeah, that's pretty stupid. That's ridiculous. But we make it back when we sell five sets of doors out of the mold, and that's the goal. Try to sell five sets of doors out of the molds, and uh, then we make our investment back. Uh, this is why I literally have over a million dollars worth of molds uh, in just the, the 400 or so molds that we own. Literally a million dollars worth of mold work. So there it is. That's the breakdown. They're beautiful, aren't they?